This video will demonstrate creating a standard VIA structure from within the Allegro PCB editor. The VIA structure created will then be used in the create fanout command to add fanouts to a BGA. So right here, this is my BGA I want to have fanouts for. I have a fanout here that I want to reuse over and over again, so I'll create a VIA structure from that fanout and then I'll use that with the create fanout command for the rest of the VGA. So to create a VIA structure, I need to go to Route, VIA Structure, Create, Standard. I have to give a name, so we'll just call it Fanout. Notice to the right, the auto export is checked. What this means is after I get done creating my VIA structure, the VIA structure will be saved to an XML file that I can use later in this same design or any design in the future. So this is the name. And now all I need to do is select the C lines and vias to create that via structure. Remember, in a standard via structure, I can only have vias and C lines connected to the pin. I can't have multiple traces and things like that. So I'm just going to drag a window around that. It's going to say, OK, what's my starting layer? And I want this to go from the top, so OK. This is going to go right now to my default working directory. It's the same as where I am right now. I'll just say save. Notice it says the file fanout.xml was created and saved the disk. Let's take a look at that XML file. This is the XML file. You can see there's the name of it, uh, information about it, and then all the, inf the actual routing that's contained in there. So let's see if we, how we can use this via structure now. So let me zoom out a couple of times. This is the BGA that I want to add all my fanouts to. So I'll use the route create fanout command. I'll come to my options window. I'll just turn on unassigned pins. Notice it's going from the top to the bottom. That matches my V structure I created. I want to look at the library, which in other words looks on disk. There is the XML file it found. It's going to use that. In my find window, I'll turn on pins. Make sure everything's set the way I want it to be. I'll just drag a window. And it added one. We'll just zoom in right back top again. And we can see that it added that via structure to every pin. This concludes the video that demonstrated creating a standard via structure from within the Allegra PCB editor and then using that via structure with the create fanout command.